Hello, I am Sky Mangrum with HowToRunBarefoot.com and I want to start this video off with a little bit of good news. Check it out. We're in runner's world! Yay! Barefoot runners! They did an interview with uh, Barefoot Mr. Ken Bob um, and a doctor and uh, it's very non-biased, not a lot of good information and in the end it's like, hey, you choose what's best for yourself. Um, okay, so today I wanted to make you a short video about the top five hazards of barefoot running and how to avoid them. Okay, so hazard number one um, is internal foot injuries. And the best way to avoid that is to just start off by running uh, gradually and really listen to your feet. Start out only running five minutes a day and then wait a week and the next week you can up it to, uh, to about ten minutes a day and from there just a little bit as you're comfortable. Um, okay, second, uh, broken glass. Um, easiest way to avoid, to avoid broken glass is just to pay attention um, to the road and step over it. Um, but uh, in cases where you've got really small pieces, uh, you can actually get um, some non-polarized uh, non sunglasses and um, it'll let you see glare. So you'll actually see more glare instead of cutting the glare and it'll kind of glint off the little pieces of glass. Sorry if I'm shaking the thing. Alright, three, um, the third hazard is swollen feet. Uh, which is really easy if your feet if you do a lot of running and your feet start to swell um, you can just back off and uh, run less you can also uh, help out a lot by icing your feet um, when you finish your run okay so number four is blisters um, which are pretty hard to avoid especially when you first start running barefoot and you don't have uh, calluses built up on the bottom of your feet yet um, so the best way to avoid it is just to, to pay attention um, to where they are if you're getting them in a reoccurring spot on your foot um, and also uh, to not push yourself so much um, to back off on your running and only run a little bit uh, but if you do have those little reoccurring blisters pay attention to the way your feet are, your feet are landing on the ground this is something I want to show you I remembered I was like there's something else here um, so I discovered that I have a, a supination I think it's called no Overpronation, overpronation, which I didn't know I was doing, and if you can see here, is just where you kick your feet and you kind of roll them outward. Because I was getting a blister like right under um, that point between my big toe and and the padding on the front of my foot, and it was from this overpronation. So I realized that I was kind of pushing my feet off to the side. Um, so try not to push off when you're running, um, and and uh, just kind of prance a little bit. I guess it's it's really it sounds really weird um, and since I'm a girl I guess it's okay uh, <laughs> but um, it's kind of like prancing. You pick your feet up and you imagine like a, like a walking horse and you pull up from the knee and you almost bring your feet up like that um, and that cuts down on a lot of blisters because you're not pushing forward like you're used to doing. Um, so I wanted to share that with you and um, the fifth thing uh, the biggest hazard of barefoot running is dishpan feet, and that's when your feet get kind of wrinkled when you've spent like when you've spent too much time in a bathtub, um, and it's not good for your feet because when they get waterlogged, the skin gets loose and it gets soft, and while you're running, it, it can pull the skin off your feet. So that sucks. <laughs> so um, best way to avoid it is to stay indoors when it's raining outside. Um, or if you want, if you have a pair of uh, Vibrams or other kind of light shoe, um, definitely try wearing that, uh, especially when it's raining, because you really don't want to be like kept off the road for a long time um, if you are losing the skin on the bottom of your feet. So, Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and uh, I packed a lot of information into it, and I'm very, very happy that you're watching. Um, and if you want some more information, there's a uh, free book that you can download at howtorunbarefoot.com, and it has 10 things you can put in your med kit that you can take with you while running, um, just in case injuries occur. Um, and it also has different ways uh, that you can run um, on hot surfaces um, and also different ways to prevent um, an injury when you first start running barefoot. I'm stuttering a lot today, sorry. So, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed my little video and thank you for watching.